Hey, what's up guys? It's Justin from Hip Science, and today we're going to be talking about fire, how candles work, and how to relight a candle by its own trail of smoke. So that was pretty cool, right? But let's see if we can slow it down and see what's actually happening. So in order to understand what's going on here, first you have to understand how a candle works. So, the way that a candle works is candles are made of wax, which is a solid. Once you light the wick, the wax starts to melt into a liquid. Once the wax is a liquid, it's drawn up the wick via capillary action, and when the liquid wax reaches the hot spot where the flame is, then it vaporizes. Now, when it's vaporized, it becomes combustible, so the gaseous wax in the air sustains the flame, and this is the same reason that the wick doesn't burn all the way down. So think of like a firework, for instance, where you light the wick and the wick travels all the way back. With a candle, the wick stays the same length because it's not actually the wick that's burning, it's the gaseous wax in the air. I've got an idea. Let's see if we can light two candles at the same time from one trail of smoke. Wow, that was pretty cool. I'm glad it worked. I hope this explanation's made sense so far, but let me try and approach it from a different angle. A cool trick that you can show your friends Relight a candle by the smoke and watch it burn again But right when you show them They gon' wanna know why Tell them it's because the wax is vaporized So watch it rise and combine with the trail of smoke Leaving behind a hot wick which continues to soak In a pool of wax that went from solid to liquid with the quickness Then rises up the wick with the force known as capillary action at which point the liquid wax starts gassing in a fashion that's characteristic of the way that candles operate. They sustain their flame with vaporized wax molecules as fuel, which is also why the wick never reaches the pool, so stay in school. Cause science can be cool and fun, especially when it involves a flame. And how many cats you know with a science show where they be rapping and explaining. All right, hope you enjoyed the show, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to share this trick with your friends and also be safe while doing it. And don't forget to check out the Hip Science Facebook and Twitter page for the fact of the week. Stay tuned for more videos. Until next time, Justin from Hip Science, signing off. Peace.